Admiral Royal Eason Ingersoll had a distinguished career in the United States Navy from 1905 to 1946. Born on June 20, 1883, in Washington, D.C., he came from a family of naval officers. He demonstrated early promise as a naval officer after graduating from the Naval Academy in 1905. During World War I, he was instrumental in organizing and developing the Naval Communications Office, earning him the Navy Cross. Throughout the interwar years, Ingersoll held various command and staff positions, showcasing his leadership abilities and strategic expertise. During World War II, he served as commander-in-chief of the U.S. Atlantic Fleet, effectively coordinating troop convoys and logistics for critical military operations, earning him the Distinguished Service Medal. After his successful command in the Atlantic Fleet, he became Commander Western Sea Frontier, overseeing coastal shipping protection and supply flow to the Pacific Fleet. Ingersoll retired on August 1, 1946, with the status of Deputy Commander-in-Chief, U.S. Fleet, and Deputy Chief of Naval Operations. He was a devoted family man, married to Louise Van Harlingen, and had two children. Ingersoll passed away on May 20, 1976, leaving behind a lasting legacy. Throughout his career, he received numerous awards and honors, including the Navy Cross and Distinguished Service Medal, and was recognized by foreign governments for his remarkable leadership skills and contributions to the U.S. Navy.